just in time for families gathering for Thanksgiving. Several kinds of rapid COVID tests you can take at home are hitting the market, and soon they'll be able to test for COVID and the flu. But the accuracy and the cost are in question. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. On the shelves of pharmacies in New York City, you'll find at home, over the counter COVID 19 tests. How much is it? $23.99. These antigen self tests retail at the same price and come with two tests per box. For a few dollars more, another test connected to an app is being sold on Amazon by New Jersey based Becton Dickinson. It's a lot cheaper than going to the doctor for the rapid, which can be 50 to $200. We tried Abbott's Binax now, which delivers results in 15 minutes. Okay, the drops are in. Now we're taking the swab. You insert the swab into this card and twist three times. And three. And then we're going to close it. I am negative for COVID-19. Next up, Quidel's Quick View. First, you swab your nose. I'm putting it into the solution. After one minute, the swab comes out and a test strip goes in. Ten minutes on the clock. Manufacturers warn it's also invalid if you check minutes before the timer and even minutes after. They're quick, but they are also all antigen-based, which doctors say is not always accurate, especially for early detection of COVID-19. We've seen plenty of people that had negative antigen but a positive PCR, so the PCR is still the gold standard. The Journal of Infectious Disease says rapid tests can detect over 93% of cases in people carrying high viral loads who can infect others. Abbas Khan of the company Bloom Health explains. When you are sick, you carry a higher viral load, which is easier for uh, these devices to detect. When you're asymptomatic, you, need to, you, don't carry, you don't produce as much of a viral load. That's why Bloom, hired to test regularly at movie sets, the Super Bowl, even for work conferences, is armed with multiple kinds of tests. This month, LabCorp is releasing an at-home collection kit that will test for flu and COVID. It's similar to its PCR-based pixel test, which detects COVID only. It includes a cotton swab. That swab will go into this container. That all goes back into the box. You close it up and it's sent to a lab. Everyone gets COVID-19, but we don't always uh, test for flu uh, that quickly. So the ability to differentiate the two on the spot is really important. And testing from the comfort of your home could be a normal part of life soon. The White House has pledged that 200 million rapid at-home tests per month be available starting in December. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.